morning. Contagious. Oftentimes we think about it in a negative sense. We think about catching the flu, catching the plague, so to speak. But negative things are not the only things that are contagious. The things of God are contagious. Last Sunday we had uh, two young men come forward. One of them recognized that he was lost. He had made some type of profession before. He'd been in the church for a long time, but he recognized that he was lost. He let go of his pride and he came forward to confess his state and confess Jesus as his Savior and Lord. Also last Sunday, we had one return and submit to believers baptism. He confessed that he had gone astray. He had been baptized before. He knew he was saved. But he wanted to return to the Lord with renewed dedication. And he wanted to show that through baptism. Well, those two men did that last Sunday. And the Lord used it to touch someone. I believe it was Monday. Ms. Robin Murray came to my office and said that the response of those two men had had an impact on her life. She had felt convicted by the Spirit of God that she needed to submit her life again to believers' baptism as a sign of her rededicating herself to the Lord. And so this morning, she's going to go through with it. And I've been praying that this would start a movement of the Spirit of God within our church. It doesn't have to stop here. Good things can't be contagious. It can spread among our church. It can spread in our community. It can spread to our state. It can spread to our country. It can spread across the world. And it can start right here. Pray that that would be so. Ms. Robin, are you ready? Please come. Hold her hand like Barney Clyde was doing judo. 